Sacramento police releasing new video of protests that turned violent at the Capitol this weekend. Take a closer look. Chief Daniel Hahn sounding the alarm about continued social and political unrest following the election and pushback to new lockdown measures. This increased violence impacts our entire community and should be a concern for all of us. So historically speaking, Chief Hahn, have we always witnessed some physical disagreements after elections? Um, I've never seen anything like this. Chief Han taking questions on Zoom from the city's youth with the group Impact SAC. He says this all comes as the city is facing a 30% increase in homicides, and yet hundreds of officers, including homicide detectives, gang detectives, community outreach officers, and police dispatchers have been redeployed from their primary assignments to monitor these protests. And listen to this. Chief Han says he's concerned even more resources are needed in the weeks ahead. Well, it's going to be an all out melee. So, yeah, I would say the way they're going, uh, I wish we had more officers. Body cam video shows police literally having to hold the fence to keep opposing protesters separated. We're told at least three officers were injured from objects being thrown and lasers directed in their eyes. If we can identify who's throwing frozen bottles, we will arrest them because that's not a protest. This all comes as just hours ago, Chief Hahn and Mayor Daryl Steinberg met with the family of the two teen brothers shot and killed at Arden Fair Mall on Black Friday. Why the mayor is apologizing to the family in an ABC 10 exclusive later in the show.